Okay. Uh, some brand new squab. Twenty. My, I put the twenty twenty four squabs over here, and uh, that's him up in the corner getting pecked at. That's the other one right there in that center. So this is their first time over here with the other younger twenty twenty three squabs, and uh, we have we got a big mess going on over here because I put this one right here and Mister. Mr. I mean uh, a golden and golden turned out to be a girl and she was mating up with him right there So I uh, says they want to mate up. I put them over here with the with the straight grown adult birds now Okay, so she's she's getting chased all around all around the cage He didn't already hit her two times uh, So if she have eggs He's gonna be partial daddy, and hopefully he be the daddy. Which that's his daddy right there, and so you know he's young. He don't know what's going on, and he got. That's why I got him around these grown adult birds now, so he can learn how to what he's supposed to do. And that's his girl up there. He gonna have to get her. He's going to have to do what he, a bird supposed to do. You know, so seeing the win is woman. And they got a nesting box down there, or it's a nesting box up there. So they can choose what box they want. So after everything gets settled down, right now she's getting chased by every every male bird up in this, this cage is chasing her around. That's, that's her daddy up there. Pigeons is weird. They funny. They don't even know. That once they they babies grow up and they don't even know who who know know who they are no more. They treat them like straight like a strange bird. You know they don't treat them just like that's his that's his uh, daughter up there. Look how he just chased her, knocked her off that perch. Look at look at him. Look what he did. That's his daughter. And he's chasing her around like she you know she just a. Uh, and she's up there, like, giving them the attention and everything. This is who she's supposed to be mated to, but this will be her first time mating. And also he is, he's younger than her. She's my oldest squad. That's her daddy up there. And every male in here been chasing her around since she's been over here. I'm trying to get them to pair up since they paired up, you know. Uh, I seen him hit, so that would let me know you y'all ready. So I moved y'all. And uh, that's what's up. But there's been a lot of ruckus over here in this case since she's been over here. I guess by the time I come back, I'm gonna find out if him and her have got settled over here and if they picked them a, a nesting box. And that's what's up. I really need to get getting these nesting box cleaned up too. The nesting boxes need to get cleaned up. So it's cold out here too, y'all. So y'all got two new arrivals over here. And you pecking that one. That that one looks now these two, this is a trip because see this grizzle head right here and that grizzle head right there, they came out looking damn near identical. But they got two different uh parents. That should be tripping me out how different parents could throw babies could come out looking like they belong to another set of parents. It just is weird on when they come down to breeding, because you really don't know the, the real fact, unless, if you ever have birds like more than uh, together, more than a pair together, 